Are there misconceptions about autism? There are definitely these misconceptions that because I'm autistic, I'm going to be excellent at math. I hate math. I love English. And as soon as I tell someone I'm autistic, they try to get me to give them the square root of pi. What do you think about the misconception that people on the spectrum don't have empathy? I've never met someone on the spectrum who is unable to empathise with another person. People think I don't have autism, and when that when my, I tell them I have autism, they go, face is like, you have autism, but you're so social. <laughs> yeah, I am social. People with autism can be social. They think that people with autism show have no feelings toward other people. I mean, we're all human beings. We we're more than capable of sharing our feelings and emotions. And just because you have autism does not mean you are in any way lacking. In fact, you might have something that nobody else has. Our minds are an advancement from the typical norm because we need to be an existential contradiction to, to what people consider to be normal. What is typical and what is atypical and should it be so stringently abided to? If everyone in the world was the same, well, to be brutally honest, it would be extremely boring. I mean, we all are different. How does autism affect you? People on the spectrum have a very idiosyncratic relationship with language compared to people who are neurotypical. And language is wielded quite uniquely by them in how they express themselves. Some do not use language at all, they are non-verbal. Then there are others such as me where I'm verbiose. With the things I really love, my, my brain is like a sponge. It just soaks in the information and the pathways to access that information are really clear. But the pathways to access social cues, body language, facial expressions. It's more like there's a traffic jam on those paths. Loud clapping and loud cheering might be a bit distracting for me and, and that might give me a lot of anxiety. I don't hug people because it gets very sensory, especially with food. Um, when I like eating like oatmeal, the the flavor, it, like my tongue, it feels like gooey and gross, or like touching like sweaty hands. If people could look deeper into the heart of autism and try to understand where that person is coming from and understand what autism really is, then I think people would bring peace and harmony to the world. As far as I'm concerned, if anything, is actually more of a gift. But I like being different now. Very different, like loud, quirky. I would say I'm just unique. I'm very, I'm weird. I wouldn't take away my autism. It's part of me, it's part of who I am. And it always will be. And it's not a bad part of me, it's a good part of me. So no, I wouldn't change that. <laughs>